Hey, in this video, I just wanted to share a little bit of thought, a little bit of wisdom around trusting and flowing. As I always say, it's about doing what is right for you. It is super windy here in the UK, so I'll speak a little bit louder and trust that the microphones are picking this up and you can hear. So as I say, just wanted to speak about trust and flow. One of the biggest issues that I used to have and that I see so many people having is that we create expectations about how we think people, situations, circumstances should be. So we create all of these plans, we have all of these ideal situations, we have the way that we want everything to happen. But remember, you know, there's seven and a half billion people, there's nature, there's the weather, there's cars, there's a technology, there's so many different variables that can affect, impact, have a, a change of plan for you and what it is that you're doing. So I urge you to, yes, you know, have a standard for you, take charge of yourself, take control of you because that is the only thing that you can take charge of. And even then, sometimes we cannot always control what happens to us, but we can choose how we respond. We can take charge of our mindset. Now, how many of you have had something happen to you in the past? Perhaps it was something really unexpected. Perhaps it was losing a job. Perhaps it was losing a partner, losing a loved one, breaking up, divorce, um, uh, a condition. You know, something happened, a car accident. And, and I send so much love to anybody that's had previous pain. But how many of you have been through something in your past that affected you. You didn't expect it, you didn't plan it, you didn't like it, you didn't want it. And then how many of you found that actually it served you in some way? If it was a breakup, maybe you've managed to find the love of your life and a much happy relationship since then. Maybe if it was getting fired, you've been able to start your dream job or start your business idea, launch your dream and manage to create that and sustain that for yourself. You know, maybe you're somebody that's just going through it right now and, and exactly what this video is for is to remember to trust the process. And it's one of the most cliche things that we can say to people, but actually time, time is our greatest healer. And how many of you found that over time, whatever it was, dissipated and served you in some way, there was a lesson, there was a message it allowed you to do something different or something new in your life. We have all experienced something that we didn't expect, we didn't know what was gonna happen and we didn't want, and yet in some way it has amplified who we are, enhanced our life in one way or another, changed the plan, changed what you thought the path was only to find an even better route, whatever it might be. So what I ask and urge you to do on this video, and there's, there's so many different ways to speak about trust and flow, and if this is of interest, then please, you know, please do comment below and say you want to know more, give me more information about this subject, and of course, I will. But the essence is to remind everybody that just like this beautiful river flowing behind me, we don't know what obstacles, what riverbanks, what trees, what might come up that changes our path. But the water never fights. It's persistent in its path. And if it needs to, it adapts and changes its approach. But it just keeps on flowing, keeps on flowing. And it doesn't matter what speed it is at. It's just important for you to keep going. Trust that everything that is happening, oh, the wind's died down a little bit. Trust that everything that is happening is happening for a reason, even if in that moment it just seems so alien and you don't understand it and how could this possibly be happening. The quicker that you can bring yourself back to an acceptance that these situations, these circumstances, these people, it is happening, but how can I move forward from this situation in the best way possible? How can I trust that this is all part of the bigger picture and one way or another, this will connect to a greater path in the future? So that's just a little bit around trust and flow today, seeing as we have this beautiful river flowing behind and in front of us. 
So much love to you all. If there is somebody that you feel is getting too stressed or perhaps tunnel vision over a situation or a circumstance, first of all, I understand that that is very, very easy to do. We have all been there. But I just want to remind everybody, I did a video not too long ago about that helicopter perspective. Come out, remember the bigger picture, the bigger vision of everything in your life, not just that one area. And remember to trust the process, hold the vision, trust and enjoy the process of flowing in this life. So much love to you all. And of course, if you are not already, then please do hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it for your daily notification so that we can explore, experience and expand together. See you on the next one.